Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing and discussing the book Spindle by Shana Slayton. Spindle is a Sleeping Beauty kind of carry on. It's not so much as a retelling, more like just an added on story. And I think that is why I was so drawn to this book in the first place is because it's not just a typical retelling of a Disney princess or fairy tale. It's, it's someone's created a story that is surrounded by the original story but adds new concepts and stuff like that which was really really interesting so I'm just gonna read you the back of the book because I suck at <laughs> um, putting everything into like words so you know so it says Briar Rose knows her life will never be a fairy tale she's raising her siblings on her own her wages at the spinning mill have been cut and the boy she thought she had a future with has her eyes for someone else most days it feels like her best friend Henry Prince is the only one in her corner though with his endless flirting jokes how can she ever take him seriously when a mysterious peddler offers her a magic spindle that could make her some more money, sneaking it into the mill seems worth the risk. But then one by one, her fellow spinners, spinner girls come down with a mysterious sleeping sickness and Briar's not immune. If Briar wants to save the girls and herself, she'll have to start believing in fairy tales in, and in the power of a prince's kiss. This story was wonderful. My favourite Disney princess is Aurora from Sleeping Beauty and I have never been able to find a retelling of Sleeping Beauty in book form. So uh, it was when I saw this, a co-worker pointed this book out to me when I was at work and when I saw it, I got so excited for it because not only does the cover look stunning and I was drawn to it instantly, cover by, but the story seems so interesting. It definitely filled my Sleeping Beauty needs of a retelling. <laughs> i definitely say that. And at first I thought that, um, they were doing like a retelling of Aurora and like this was supposed to be Aurora Sleeping Beauty blah 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 but no it's actually set quite a few years um, in the future and it's about a girl who's not like has nothing to do with Aurora she's a totally different girl and her name is Briar Rose so the writing style in itself is was really really good I think Shana I think that's how you say her name I'm so sorry if it's not but I think she did a really really good job of creating characters that you instantly um, feel like you know and also a story that just flows really well. The characters in this book were so well thought out. They were totally different than the original um, storyline, but they, she somehow created this world that you could just instantly feel like you are in the original like fairy tale, but with new characters that were really, really interesting. I think Briar Rose, the main the main character in the, the story who's it about, is such an awesome character. She is a woman that is struggling, um, trying to feed her family and worrying about her future and stuff like that and then it, she kind of in the, within this short story she grows into a strong independent woman and it was so good to see. Another ca favorite character of mine was definitely Henry. I feel like Henry Prince brought in a element that was much needed. We needed a funny element in this story because it does deal with quite a bit of sadness but Henry was such a great friend like it's every person's dream to have a friend like Henry. The only issue I had with this story is that Henry was not in it enough. I feel like he should have been in every every single chapter, but every time that he was in the, in the book, I love. I think the relationship between Briar and Henry was really, really well developed. My, one of my pet peeves is when a relationship, even through friends, is not developed properly and it comes off very stiff and unnatural and total opposite with these guys. It's very natural and it was very nice to witness as you read. The other characters in this story all were so, so unique and they had, there was, each one had a different part to play in the role of Briar Rose in her story. And I loved every single one of them, I thought they were great, even the people you weren't meant to love I still found were really like cool and really like entertaining to read about. The storyline was fun and original and I feel like Slater did a really good job of bringing the original and bringing a new and pushing them together and making something that was entertaining and fun. I feel like all the twists and turns that were in this book were so unexpected and such a nice kind of like surprise that it made me want to keep reading every page to find out what happens next which is what you really want in a book isn't it? My favourite story, my favourite part of this story was by far the setting, the time setting. It was set in 1890s and it had a lot of awesome, amazing women's right moments in this book. It, her, um, Briar's friend Ethel is a part of the women's right movement in the 1890s and so it kind of like, it centred around quite a bit of that part of what the story is about. Like it's not just about this fairy tale, love lovey-dovey or like that kind of stuff. It actually has an, like an interesting um, 
point of view from a woman that is struggling for you know getting underpaid and all that kind of the mills and stuff like that she really did a fantastic job of bringing together something that was really historically interesting and it kind of it taught me quite a bit in this in this book and mixing it together so it's still entertaining and when she was like kind of like saying history like I mean Shana when she was like telling us about the history or um, quotes from actual women back in the day it wasn't boring at all it wasn't like a history homework or anything like that it was really interesting and I felt like she did such a fantastic job of creating characters that were for the women's right and not for the women's right and each one you you understood what they were like you know why they were a part of it and why they weren't a part of it I found that was my favorite part of this story the setting the time setting and the background like source of this book was phenomenal and the women that she quotes from at the back of the book she gives us like who she's actually taking the quote from I would love to read more about those women they sound so interesting like I definitely recommend this book pick it up it's really really good and I would love that there's more Aurora Sleeping Beauty retellings out there so yeah there you go that is my review for Spindle let me know down below if you have read it or if you've read any other um fairy tale retellings I would love your recommendation make sure you check out my Instagram where I've posted a review and more photos of this book and also thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe for more videos like it thank you guys so 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 much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day